baby girl, it's your mom. I just want to say how incredibly proud I am of you and how wonderfully strong I think you are. I am so, so elated for this day and I'm looking forward to holding my newest grandbaby girl in my arms. I want you to be strong. We got you. Everybody's got you. And I wish you well on this beautiful day. I'm not going to cry, even though I want to, because I'm kind of looking cute, so I don't want to mess up the makeup. But I love you, and you take care, and let's go party. Well, hello. This is Royals Gigi. Y'all just getting ready to go ahead and um, sort out a lot of the stuff that she's gotten for the baby shower and thank you all so much for the gifts i appreciate y'all from Gigi, but i know maddie appreciates y'all even more because it's been beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and sort through the items here and get them situated put up those things that she can wash or well those things that she can wear readily i'm going to go ahead and wash those out and get you know this party started because y'all it won't be long now so let me get to it Alright y'all, so baby shower is officially over. I'm sorry y'all, it's a mess in here. Look y'all, this is the outfit of the day. Chill. Anyways, I'm about to take this dress off, get comfortable, kick my feet up, cause y'all know mama feet is swollen. And I'm gonna have to talk to y'all later, because your girl got a lot of organizing to do, royal got stuff everywhere. Um, so that's what I'm about to be doing. All right, y'all. So y'all ain't heard from me in a little minute, <laughs> but we just got this Royals grandmother just dropped this off. Um, so it is a walker for her. So we're going to open this up right about now. And it's super cute. It's Minnie Mouse, as you guys can see. We got the other grandma on the duty of taking it out the box and putting it together. So. Got a lot going on here. Yeah. Hold up. Let us see, let us see, let us see. And this is perfect because it actually matches her bouncer. So perfect, perfect. Um, we haven't taken her bouncer out of the box yet. Um sorry y'all if I keep um and I am hot. Okay. Let y'all see the finished parado. Yes. Alrighty y'all, so her walker is all set up. It is so, so cute. So shout out to her grandma for getting this for her. Uh, I can't wait for her to use this, but of course it'll be a few months down the line. But this is adorable, you guys. And the music plays. Nice, nice, nice. What is up, Maddie's Glam fam? I oh, love you cat mamas and cat daddies out there. Your girl, sweet angel. Listen, I'm here hanging out on Maddie's Glam Life. Today, what I did was cleaned up the inside of her car. And we're getting ready to go ahead and install the car seat. Uh, well, the base of the car seat. I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom of the stroller in as well. But I'll leave the actual car seat in the house until at such time it's needed. Which y'all know. Way things look, 
it ain't long okay so i just rinsed it off a little bit too so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll let y'all check out the final results okay let's get it window it's going to go on the passenger side so far i believe that's where she wants it and um where the baby will be sitting in the car seat at so we're gonna put this on and that was a nice baby shower gift along with this baby on board sign came from our sister tina so we're gonna also put this on at some point in time so more than likely after the baby is on board but I'm just going to install the other gadgets right now okay we also have this two-pack mirror set here that came with the other items there from her sister Tina I actually have two of these mirrors to install one is gonna go on the front side one on the back side and that way hey she'll get a view no matter what okay <laughs> And this right here is just the seat protector that I'm going to place in there before putting the base of the car seat on. So let's get this done. And this is the other mirror. So we're going to install this as well. And let me just grab the base. And there's the base. I'm just going to follow the instructions in accordance with the manufacturer's suggestions and see what I can do, okay? Wow, I don't even know if y'all can see that or not, but I do have the nice little mesh net up here for the window for the baby and it suctions right on or you could put it over the window. This window will not permit it because every time I hooked it on there, it just opened back up. So that is that on there, if you can see that. Okay, next item. Okay, y'all, this is almost going too easy. Look here. Just went ahead and attached to this. It just adjusts with this little strap back here, right here. And nice fit, snug fit right on here. Fits perfectly. And it also has a little pouch right here. So that is awesome. You can put in extra little goodies that you may need handy for the baby. And I can't recall... Um, this was in a box, I think, or a packet, but it's a smart elf or something like that. I'm not sure, but it'll be linked. I'm pretty sure she'll have it linked in the description box for y'all. But this helps to protect the seat. So next, we're going to install probably one of the mirrors here. So let's get to it. Okay, I think I have this ready to go. This is the camera, the monitor that shows the baby sitting in the seat right here and this is the camera on like so but right now it's showing me up here more than it is down to the baby so i'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera uh go back there and adjust it and we'll fix this part here in a moment or she can put it where she wants to all right glam fam here i am in the back seat this is another mirror that we also got but i thought since maddie is going to be back here in the back seat and she loves looking at herself okay she want to be cute cute mommy she can just take this and look at herself like hey girl hey, yo, you look good and um yeah well i'm just gonna put it here she can tell me whenever she gets ready to make a change she can take it down and just put it in the little pouch back here got some hand sanitizer back here we have the little baby on board thing right here this is another mirror that came along with that but again this stuff is probably going to be more useful if she is um driving by herself and want to check on the baby but she has the camera which is perfect this mirror again is perfect for the backseat riders that want to look at see how they're looking okay last thing in place is the car seat got her in well not the whole car seat but the base actually so we're gonna go by the fire station make sure all is in good Who's been shopping? This like some mommy shopping stuff, y'all. Royals, mommy did this. 
Oh my gosh! So cute! <laughs> There's some more burp cloths. Cute. And this is a photo album that Maddie's going to create her own baby book. She'll show y'all how to do it. All right, y'all, so I look a mess, okay? Because it is so hot in this house. But your girl still has to work, okay? I still have things to do. I still have videos to get done. And I still have a baby to feed at the end of the day. So I can't just sit down and say, oh, well, I'm hot. I'm not gonna record today. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> your girl gotta work, okay? So if my hair swells up throughout this video, you know why and if it looks like I'm sweating profusely you know why I definitely am so anyway y'all I decided to kill two birds with one stone today because I'm actually getting ready to do my maternity shoot which is unfortunate because I'm a sweaty hot mess okay my hands are swollen your girl is pregnant we know this everything on my body is swollen so ignore it just ignore it okay because look it just is what it is at this point okay your girl delivers next month in July I am so excited um but I just need I just need some air conditioning right now so I'm gonna sit down right now well I am sitting down but I just wanted to chit chat with you guys about a few things so my baby shower passed my baby shower was last weekend actually and I also had another baby shower prior to that one the weekend before that if you guys keep up with my um, channel so I ended up having two baby showers um both were great both were amazing events I must say so myself I had a good time at both um of course baby girl already had most of the stuff that she needed but i was so happy that you know people came through and they bought baby girl um certain things and uh, hey new clothing items y'all know royal has a ton of clothes but i'm pretty sure she's definitely going to get around to wearing them all okay um so i just had a good time at both events but in the midst of that you guys oh my gosh you know how you have to like open up your space right so you have to be subject to um or you have to be subjected to being around people that you probably normally wouldn't hang around right and in my case you know i get so tired i get so drained of being around certain people um i don't like being around people who run their mouths a lot or who like to gossip or whatever and for the longest time i've always asked my mom i'm like why don't you deal with certain people like it will be certain people in my mom's family that i just noticed that she wouldn't associate with throughout my childhood or she wouldn't really hang around right my mom has never been somebody that has tried to be in the mix and I noticed that as I get older I'm the same way I don't try to be in the mix with people I don't care to be seen I don't care to be around I'm just not that person right I show up when it's needed for me to show up or when there's a reason that is necessary for me to be there and otherwise maybe I won't be there okay I'm not gonna show up so <laughs> um throughout this event you know you realize wow okay we're dealing with this person and we know that most people are around to be nosy right which is why i like to limit my interactions with people especially nowadays because realistically let me tell you this most people do not care about your well-being most people do not care about how you're actually feeling most people do not care about your life struggles or your life journey most people are just around to be nosy okay Okay. and I most people are also around to bad mouth other people right I'm personally not the person that likes to bad mouth people I'm pretty direct if I have a problem with you you'll definitely definitely know um, but I don't like people who sit around and every time they come around they have something negative to say about somebody else they have this draining energy oh gosh um, or they are talking about BS that has nothing to do with nothing okay and the the more that you sit and you listen to people's conversation and they bring other people into the mix you realize that a lot of people just have these ignorant harebrained conversation conversations right these are people that are supposed to be family but they have these harebrained ignorant stupid worthless conversations about a bunch of nothingness okay and if I'm talking about you you probably know that I'm talking about you right <sighs> so I said well 
after my baby shower um, or specifically before my daughter is born I'm going to separate myself from a lot of people I don't feel the need to hang around or be around certain people and there's a lot more people that have came around during my pregnancy that I just don't feel the need to be around um, now the people who have been genuine thank God for y'all um, but certain vessels and I say one specific vessel in general because this specific person okay they get one story here and then they go over here and they spread it over here and they go over here and they spread it over here and it gets so uh y'all like y'all don't understand throughout my pregnancy I was so irritated at the beginning and I became one thing that I do like about being pregnant I became brutally honest okay pregnancy has made me um become the person that when it comes to my certain opinions on things I have no problem speaking um, I'm just very blunt and very honest nowadays but this particular person here really just started to grind my gears during pregnancy and I'm always the person that tries to be nice and tries to respect my elders but I've always also believe that you cannot respect somebody who number one does not respect themselves number two does not respect others and number three does not even respect you but just just is around for the simple fact that they want someone to be around or they're lonely when they go home or whatever the case may be um so that's one of the reasons why i decided i wanted to separate myself from a lot of people because eh, like nobody wants to deal with that kind of energy especially while they're pregnant um so you guys oh my hair is so swollen um but i'm so happy that the baby shower shenanigans are over so that now i can move forward towards other things and really prepare for baby girl because we don't have long before she's here obviously and i also want to surround myself with positive energy with positive people with people who bring light into my world um and will bring light into my daughter's world i don't want specific people around my daughter i don't like stupid comments i don't like people who sit around and chit chat about other people because at the end of the day if i had a problem with somebody or if i wanted to talk about someone somebody specifically i would directly address that specific person so if you have seen certain people in my vlogs and you don't see them around any longer that will be one of the reasons why and also with the baby shower thing y'all let me talk about this honey so um my baby shower was recorded from beginning to end if you were here you probably know that <sighs> or it was not actually <laughs> um but all that footage was lost okay womp, womp, womp. um so there was going to be a full video on my channel of my baby shower it was going to be great it was going to be awesome and guess what you guys all that footage is lost so um y'all it's just been one for me this specific um last few days but i'm just so happy that it's over with i'm so happy that i can now move forward gracefully um and separate myself from certain family members and from certain people who really don't have your best interest they're just around to figure out what the hell they can gossip on next and spread it to the next person and spread it to the next person well you know this well you know that well you know her such and such well you know blah 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 like i get so tired of old miserable people who have nothing else to do but this okay you never hear them talking about anything educational you never hear them talking about anything beneficial just this it's tiring it's awesome okay anyways y'all i'm gonna get ready to go uh because i need to do my maternity shoot and i need to figure out what I'm gonna do because my hair is all swole but y'all look let me know down below y'all get tired of people who drain your energy who bring you negativity who come and they come around specifically to gossip about this person and that person and somebody being gay and somebody being straight and somebody being pregnant and uh, it's so tiring it's it's very tiring and draining okay just like my hair right very dry so anyways you guys i'm gonna holler at y'all later um i may elaborate more on this topic in the future but it's just too hot and it says 94 degrees outside but it says that it's like it feels like it's 111 degrees and I feel like I'm in hell right now. Okay. I do. So what I'm going to do is go sit under some cool air up until it's time for my photo shoot. And I'm going to holler at y'all in my next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah. Hmm.